and see the definition the lines in the same plane and which do not intersect each other are called as parallel lines see the figure in this figure line m is there and line n is there both the lines in the same plane and also they do not intersect with each other therefore these two lines are parallel lines now symbolically we can represent this as line m and line n are parallel lines we can use the symbol for parallel line like these two vertical lines so this symbol indicates given two lines are parallel and this can be read as line m is parallel to line n definition of transversal if a line intersects given two lines in two distinct points then that line is called as transversal of two given lines now angles made by a transversal see the figure so let us see the pairs of corresponding angles which first example angle a and angle e second example angle d and angle h third example angle b and angle f and fourth example angle c and angle g so total four pairs of corresponding angles are found when a transversal intersects given two lines now understand which what are interior angles a pair of interior angles angle c and angle f angle d and angle e so total two pairs of interior angles are found when a transversal intersects given two lines now see the example again interior alternate angles angle d angle f angle c angle e exterior alternate angles angle a angle g angle b angle h now here in the diagram in the figure line pq is parallel with line rs and line ab is a transversal of given two parallel lines line ab intersects given two lines in two distinct points that are point m and n so total eight angles are formed when two parallel lines are intersected by a transversal then each pair of corresponding angles are congruent can you tell which are that corresponding angles which are congruent yes angle amp and angle mnr another pair angle pmn and angle rnb angle amq and angle mns and angle qmn and angle snb so these are the pair of corresponding angle which are congruent yes angle pmn and angle mns angle qmn and angle mnr angle amp is congruent with angle snb angle amq is congruent with angle rnb now can you tell 
pairs of interior angles which are supplementary of each other angle pmn plus angle mnr is equal to 180 degree angle qmn plus angle mns is equal to 180 degree construction first to draw a line parallel to given line through a point outside the given line using set square so let us take a question draw a line l take a point a outside the line through point a draw a line parallel to given line l we can do this with two methods let us consider method first in this method take a ruler draw line l Take point A outside the line L. Now use set square and move this set square towards point A. Set the set square as shown in the diagram. Now take another set square such a way that its right angle in upward direction. Now move this set square. point a now draw line passing through point a let us give name m to this line so we can say that line m is parallel to line l through point a this geometry construction using another method Method second, again take a ruler and draw line L. We have to take a point M on line L, another point N on line N. Means we have to take here two distinct points on line L. Now use set square and draw a perpendicular to the line L through point M. We have drawn here a perpendicular to the line L through point M. Now take any point on this perpendicular. Let us take point A on this perpendicular line. Now use set square again and draw perpendicular to line L through point N. Let us take B point on this line such a way that MA is equal to NB. Now use ruler and draw a line passing through point A and B. Let us give the name M to this line. Now we can say that line m which is passing through point a is parallel to line l let us consider now another construction to draw a parallel line to given line at a given distance consider a question draw a line parallel to given line l at a distance 2.5 cm take ruler draw line l now on this line l we have to take two distinct point point a and point b use set square and draw perpendicular through point a take point P on this perpendicular exactly at 2.5 cm. Now, by the same way, use set square again to draw a perpendicular at point B. So, we have drawn here perpendicular, and on this perpendicular, we have to take another point P 
cube such a way that it is exactly at distance 2.5 cm from line L. Now use ruler and draw a line passing through point P and point Q. Let us give name point M to this line. So we can say that line M which is passing through point P and Q which is exactly at 2.5 cm from line L is parallel to line L. Line M is parallel to line L at distance 2.5 centimeter. 